Here's your fascia, holds your muscles, your bones, your tendons, your ligaments, and your organs. It is the structure. Over the digestive system, when we sit in a chair, take all the body weight here and we crush from the diaphragm down into the pelvic floor. And we sit for eight hours. That gets sticky and it stops flowing and it stops moving. And then all of a sudden you have food come in trying to go through something that's already compact. And then it can't move through there. That is why gas, bloating, distension, autoimmune, Crohn's, stomach issues, they come from a lack of flow in here. When you put chemicals in your body, those chemicals go into your gut and they dehydrate it, destroy the lining, they destroy the microbiome. It creates restrictions in here. And if this doesn't move, then you're gonna have a problem pretty fast. The intestines are connected to your brain. When you create a change in pressure here, you change the pressure here. It's all connected. You can't affect one without the other. Imagine your intestines. They're like little sausage casings. And the way I visualize this is, imagine you had a fish tank here. So from the diaphragm into your pelvic floor was a fish tank, so your skin. And then inside there, you've got all this water. And then inside there, you've got a mini coral, some fish. And imagine your organs like that. It's all floating inside there. And sometimes the coral might move. Sometimes the fish might move. Sometimes the organs in here move. You work on somebody, their organs aren't where they're supposed to be. Some people actually have their organs completely reversed. And the reason why is it's floating in here. It floats, it's not in a static position. So as you move, it moves around. As you eat, it moves around. As you create restrictions or you hold trauma or you hold chemicals or you have injuries, it moves. And it's not always where you think it is. So even when we do the organ reset, we're just doing zones. It doesn't have to be specifically on that organ. It just has to be in that zone to release the pressure there and to rebalance the energetic charge. They're just floating in here. So when you're working on it, don't get so caught up on the exact position. It's constantly changing.